Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adenike Olakunle. For those who are new here, I'm also known as the Scent Nurse. As you can see from the title of this video, this is what I'm going to be talking about. Why I'm not advocating or encouraging people to take up the carer's job. Why am I not recommending it for people to um, use it as a means to relocate from Nigeria? Couple of things. I'm going to give you several reasons why I don't personally advertise it. And if you like, you can bash me. I'm not, I'm used to that at, at, at this time. People may not have told you the truth, you may not have heard a lot of people talking about their challenges, but the truth is that the tiny bits of influence that I have got, I've had loads of people sending me emails from the, by the virtue of the fact that I do these videos and people watch my videos. They, and my email obviously is, you know, everywhere. And I get these emails on, you know, on re every, every now and then on how they came in with carer's visa and this is their struggle and this is their struggle and this is their struggle. So by the virtue of these experiences, I've had the privilege to witness or to, to be, um, you know, to, to encourage someone who has come on that visa that is now depressed, you know, that is now sad, that is now, you know, not... Um, wishing that they hadn't um, made that move and so I thought okay I can talk about this you know and many people get to see it and they make an informed decision before they come to the UK I think it would be a great idea so here we are sharing why I am not advertising it especially if you are a nurse and you can afford to come in as a nurse so if you like to know more definitely keep watching if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please 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 click the subscription button now and subscribe to this channel god bless you and thank you in advance let's get started why am i not advocating for senior carer jobs first of all in case you don't know senior carer um, jobs in the uk is basically you are not a nurse you are not doing nursing jobs you're just like healthcare assistant with um the the you, you just um, you can now administer medication or take up some task that um, nurses would usually do especially in a care home environment so it's most of the time in a care home if it's in the hospital you are just like a healthcare assistant so yes that is what it is so why am i not talking about it because a lot of people bombarded me in the in the dm and they just think oh they just come in with questions do you think this is good did you can i go for this and i don't tell them yes or no i just tell them what i know over time so in case you are wondering if it's for you or not so if you are a nurse i'm going to be talking from the perspective of a nurse number one if you are a nurse i'm not going to advocate or encourage you to take the carer's um job because number one i feel like you will be doing what a nurse should be doing but you will not be getting the recognition of a nurse in terms of your pay and number two if you have not done your your um, CBT or your high health or anything like that. I feel like this job is just a distraction because when you eventually get to the United Kingdom, you'll just be busy um, catching train and buses, going from one job to the other. You're not really stable like that. And even if you have a stable job, you are just busy, you know, chasing survivor. You are, sometimes you may not really have the time to do the studies that that is required of you to become a registered nurse. I have a lot of people that are that came into the UK with carer's visa and passing their exams has been a very, very tough one just because what they are busy chasing, making survivor, trying to survive in the UK. And that's just because the salary is not ex exactly um, up to par, especially if you have family members that, that will come with you like dependents. So I feel like it's just a distraction. It's going to distract you from what you really really have to do and what can fetch you you know enough money to survive on so that is number one reason why i am not recommending it for nurses if you can endure nigeria or wherever you are coming from do all the things that are necessary for you there are loads of nursing jobs in the uk as of this moment when this video is being recorded loads of hospitals are still 
you know hiring nurses and there are loads of jobs for you to get as a nurse right so don't be distracted just focus put all your energy together and just make sure that you you know keep on believing that your own job will come the second reason why i'm not advocating for these senior carer jobs to as a means of relocating to the uk is this people have reported a whole lot of maltreatment from the agencies and even the care homes uh, i'll give you an example of an email that came to me i probably just screenshot the email and put it on my screen for you to see so these these ladies they were even from caribbean they are not even nigerians they came into the uk with a senior carers um visa um with a senior carers job that they took from an agency and the agency would just you know place them somewhere today place them somewhere else tomorrow place them in different places at different times the means of transporting themselves to these locations were not provided which means that they have to book the train by themselves and this means that it could be somewhere outside of where they are originally living and you know that's that's something that is not really making any sense and they're not even threatening them that they are under bond and they have to work for them for three years and i have had to tell them that you are not a slave you can leave an employer if they are not doing you well i told them you know you you can leave you just need to look for another employer that will sponsor you and they've they've had you know loads of times that they are depressed that they if they, they go from money to night they have to leave home early they have to come back late they have to still wake up in the following day to go and they make them work very long hours ordinarily your minimum uh your minimum uh hours in the uk is 37.5 but these ladies were doing, I think, about 45 or 14, 46 hours per week. They would do long day and like they, they rarely have like two days in a week off. And that to me is not worth it. And you know, the funny thing is that the 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 it's it's about the, it's a number of days they work that they will collect salary, that they will collect money, that they will get paid for which means that they have to constantly work in order for them to be able to live in the UK. And let me tell you, work in the UK is not the way it is in Nigeria or I don't know about any other places in the world, but I know that work somewhere else outside of the UK, you might be able to do some certain things and still take some little breathe in between. You, you can still be able to breathe in between your work, sit down, um, catch some fun, eat some food, gist with a friend, or make some phone calls when you are in the uk if you are at work you are at work which means that they have little time for something else outside of work because they are always on the move at work and on the move again so um it is really really important for you to 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 weigh your options if you can come as a nurse i don't think you should waste your time to come as a carer if you can but if you are desperate the ball is still in your court. So this video is not to discourage anyone from coming um, to the UK through the care job. This is not a discouragement. This is me just giving you an information and you know, the onus is on you to make an informed decision to say, okay, this is what I'm capable of doing. This is what I'm going to do. But I hope that this video will help someone from falling into the pit that other people are falling into. The third reason why I am not advocating is basically because of the salary. When I look at the, the job adverts and I see 21,000 pound and per annum, and I just just try to calculate how much is it is an average band five nurse in the nhs is even still struggling now not to talk of if you are taking and that's like they are taking about twenty five thousand a year and so if i see twenty one thousand which is like four thousand short for a senior carer's job that has a family and with the inflation with the cost of cost of living that is on the increase now i don't think someone who has a family can survive on senior carer salary except the both of you are working and you start working together at the same time because if you if it is only one person that is working for the first few months 
I see no how. God is your sustenance. That's the only thing I can say. So the salary for me it doesn't make any sense, especially if you've got family. I know what the struggle was when I when we were here, and especially if you are going to get that job in a place where in places like London or anywhere around London, where a one bedroom house can be like seven hundred and something pound, except uh, apart from the bills right so that is why i don't advocate it the salary to me doesn't make any sense except you don't have family or the family you have your dependents can also work alongside with you at immediate with immediate effect if you are struggling in the uk it's really hard you don't even have access to public funds as an immigrant like you know getting a house from the council or getting some employment benefits and um, if you are unemployed you know that they will be giving you money or something no as someone on tier 2 visa if you don't have a job in the uk you only have about 60 days to be able to stay you know get another job and get a cos get um, a new visa after that 60 days if you continue to live in the united kingdom you are just an illegal immigrant in the united kingdom and that can even make it worse um for you in the future if you are trying to get a visa so there are several things you need to consider before you take the plunge and don't let instagram pictures and all the beautiful videos and all the beautiful um pictures that you see people do, are struggling but they they are not sharing with anybody because obviously they think that they can't complain or sometimes it's just oh I'm be at least i'm in a better place or some uh, at least they think oh I, I can't tell anybody because they would think i'm trying to discourage them so i know what it is when people when people just put up the pictures that are so nice but they are deep deep inside of them they are going through odd stuff but they are not sharing with anybody so don't be fooled make informed decision as i said earlier this video is not to discourage you i hope this um i hope somebody finds this um helpful so that's the third reason why i don't advocate it i hope that somebody is making an informed decision um after watching this video and if there is anything you would like to know more you can just send me a dm on instagram i am at the Saint nurse and you know on twitter as well if you would like to have a discussion thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and if you think this video is worth your time please give it some likes you know and share with someone that is desperate and at the crossroad they might be able to learn one or two things from this video and i will see you another time mm -hmm.